In this video, we'll show you how to use the Reference Gene Selection Tool and the Prime PCR Controls Analysis Tool in CFX Maestro software. Both of these tools can be found in the Gene Study module in CFX Maestro. The Gene Study module allows you to analyze a single plate or combine multiple plates for analysis. To create a gene study, select File, then New, then Gene Study. You can now select one or more complete run files to add to the gene study by clicking Add Data Files. In this example, we're going to look at a gene study we've already created and we'll be analyzing the results from a single run. In this case, we used a 384 well prime PCR reference gene array plate that lets us compare the stability of 30 genes in four samples. Since we already have the plate added to this gene study, the next step is to analyze the results. To do this, click the Study Analysis tab at the top of the screen, then on the sidebar, select the icon for Reference Gene Selection Tool. What we see now is a plot of the stability of all of our reference genes. In viewing the bar chart plot, we can see that higher values represent more stable genes. Genes have also been color-coded into three categories. Green is reserved for genes with the highest stability, which will provide the most accurate normalization factors. Yellow genes have acceptable stability. These can be used for normalization, but it's recommended to use at least three in order to improve normalization accuracy. Finally, genes in red have poor stability. These should not be used as reference genes. We can also see that in the text box below the chart, an explanation is given for each color category. And if we click on the Learn More link, we can view a pop-up box with more information on the Reference Gene Selection Tool. An important thing to note here is that genes need to be designated as potential reference genes in order for their stability to be shown in this tool. To designate potential reference genes, navigate to the left side menu and click on the icon for graphing. This brings us to the Analysis feature that includes both graphing and our experiment settings. Now on the right side of the screen, click Experiment Settings. We are now viewing a list of all genes in the experiment. Ensure that the box is checked next to each gene you would like to analyze as a potential reference gene. In this case, as we scroll through, we can see that we have previously chosen all genes, excluding controls, as potential reference genes. Let's now move on to the Prime PCR Controls Analysis Tool. This tool is designed to automatically analyze the results of controls on prime PCR plates and of individual prime PCR controls assays. Most prime PCR plates have been designed with wells designated as controls such as positive and negative controls to support quality control of experiments. When combined with the automated analysis tool, these controls provide a very handy way to perform a quick QC check on your run. To view the results from the tool, just click on the icon for Prime PCR Controls Analysis on the left sidebar, which looks like a check mark. When the tool is opened, we first see a summary screen showing our results. In this case, we ran four different samples, cartilage, heart, skin, and thymus, and ran controls for each, a positive PCR, a check for reverse transcription, a check for genomic DNA contamination, and an RNA quality check. We can see that all controls show a result of pass save one. The reverse transcription control for our skin sample says check, meaning we should further investigate the results. To do so, at the top of the analysis, we'll click on the tab labeled RT for reverse transcription. Now we can view more information about the results, including comparative CQ values and a delta CQ. As we can see, the delta CQ between the sample and the control is high, indicating that the reverse transcription reaction might not have run well for this particular sample and could be impacting our results. We can also see that the lower half of the screen contains more information and an explanation of how to interpret the results. We have now explored how to use the Reference Gene Selection Tool and the Prime PCR Controls Analysis Tool in CFX Maestro software. These tools are just two of the powerful features in CFX Maestro designed to help you get more reproducible results and data from your real-time PCR experiments. We hope you find these tools useful 
and wish you success in your real-time PCR experiments.